look at the shore fishing fields. We just this second got to Chesil Beach. Uh, we put out two rigs each with live bait on, and we're fishing with black lug, fresh black lug on two separate rods at distance. And I have something on the end. Just reeling in to change the bait. And there is something on the end which is really kicking. We've got to be careful because because we're only using live blacks, we've only got one of hooks on. And this is really going. I don't know what it is. I don't think it's a cod, which is what we're after. But for first cast, this could be good if I can get it in. Ryan's being our cameraman again. It's a nice moonlit night. Sorry we're always filming in the dark at the moment, but it's the easiest time for us. But this is really pulling. I'm hoping this is actually going up the tide. I'm hoping this comes in. Quite a distance out and it's still out there and it's still pulling well. I can't put much force on it. Obviously because of the 101. I've also broken my coasting. I hope this don't go over our live bait lines. We were just preparing some squid and lug baits. See if there's any cod around. Has it been rough for the last week? See if we can get this in. Well, this is our introduction today, anyway. <laughs> As I say, welcome to Shore Fishing Fields. With my son Ryan today, or tonight. Ryan's already had a white in, which he had just now. This is going, you have to follow me Ryan. Really pulling. There he goes, there he goes. We'll have to get down a bit and see if we can have a look at this Ryan. Well, no, we can't get too close to the water as, as always on Chesil Beach. You never know what waves are out there, especially in the dark. I reckon this could be a conger of some kind. And it's in the waves. Have I still got a fish? Oh. Definitely in the waves. We'll bring it in on this wave. You with me, Roy? Yep. <laughs> oh! Don't go any further. This fish is just out there. Conger. It's a conger. and hold my rod and film. <laughs> well, uh, Alright? Yep. Yeah. 
to pull back up the beach. Having to beat this by hand. <laughs> wow. All right, you got him there. Good man. Come and see me. Well, let's say welcome to Shore Fishing Films. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> What a fight on a one o hook! Now that has got to be the ah. <laughs> hook's come out. Do I stop? Hang on. Hey. Do I stop? No, 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 no. Ah. Now that got to be the best part. Can you see that? Yep. Yeah. Normally if you lay them on their back they tend to go a bit quiet. But you've got to be really careful because they do tend to spin. Slide him back down the beach and get him back. Well, I reckon that's the best part of 30 pounds. Let's go, mister. Not the best way to handle them. Here, somebody's old line off there. Oh. <laughs> Here it comes. They are quite hardy, these fish. going. Come. Oh. Well, what can we say about that? I must say myself, that's not the best way to handle them, but he was strong. So, make sure they go back safe. Do what you can to look after the fish, but to catch out on a one o hook, it's absolutely amazing. So let's try again. Hello everybody. Right, I just wanted to show you the bait we're using tonight. Um, we've got some nice frozen back black lug these are defrosted nicely they're like a thin skin now like an old boot lace 
but they really do smell. So uh, we mix that up with some. Nice stinky squid for mammal. This stuff is takes forever to defrost, especially on a cold night. But uh, once you get it on there, if you give it a bash with a rock, uh, just to let all the juices out, it works a treat. So put your black lug on, and then wrap the, the bell of the squid around it, tie it all up, and send it out to sea. The other bait we've got is some of these black lug that we've got frozen. We've actually managed to pick some up which are still alive. They look the same, unfortunately, when you first get them. If you throw them on the beach, what they do is they all go tight and it allows you to put it on as a nice fresh worm and send it out. And that's what we had our conger on just now. So we'll bait up some more and we'll get them out to sea. Nothing on it that time. Show us your squid bait, Ryan. You can see Ryan's pulley rig here. These are the rigs that we're using tonight. And we've got a nice wrap of black lug. It's getting close to there. Nice wrap of black lug and squid. It's dirty squid for mammal. Um, two size 4 0 hooks used in a panel. And then we come down to Ryan's 5 ounce weight. And going up for about 16 to 20 inches on a pulley rig which has got a few beads between the swivel and the line swivel which actually acts as a small boom it really helps so uh, it helps keep the, the bait away from the main line it all clips down like that good job and there we have it Ryan and his pulley rig, both using the same rigs, uh, all fishing at different distances, and that way we can gauge where the fish are. Right, have a cast, Ryan. There's the black lug I told you about just now. This is a live one, or a fresh one, as they say. Um, I believe up country they call them slaps. Why that is, probably because they slap it onto the beach to make it go stiff. But it looks like a frozen lug. So if I gather this up, as long as the camera can see it now. See him moving and he's going all tight. Do him again. And there he goes up. It's going all tight. There you can see now that it's turned into a nice tight worm that we can get on the hook nice decent bait that codling, bass anything that swims will have that really well, Ryan's just going to bait up with one of these blacks that we just thrown on the beach to uh, to make him go all stiff basically using a pulley panel rig it's going to feed him on because now we've thrown him on the beach He's gone all tight. That's it. I'm just going to feed him up very nicely. Once they've gone tight, they can be a bit stiff to get up the hook. Some people prefer to use them with a baiting needle. Ryan don't need that. He's a professional. Then you're right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Just keep feeding it up there. Trying not to break the worm. Keep going. Feed him up the line gently, that's it. Keep going. These make a really decent bait. That's it, you can see the if you can see that there, see all the blood coming out the end. That's it. Look at the size of that, that's a good eight inch long worm there twist the top hook around a few times
three times, maybe four. Hooking through the top of the bait. There we go. We're going to clip that one down. This again is on a pulley rig. Make sure the hook points are clear. It's getting away from him there. There we go. And that's a really nice bait for anything that swims, really. We are targeting cod. Let's see if we can get one on that right. Okay, excellent. These are our live bait rig, uh, rods out there, you can see. And I'll show you the, the rig. You can see my rod tip go in there. That's with the live bait already on it. And just above the, the whiting, I think that is, uh, will be a size 5.0 hook. Which is something comes and takes the whiting and it'll take everything. Fish on. Ryan's just reeled in his live bait rig here. If we can, we'll just have a quick look at it and see if we can demonstrate it to you. Uh, it's a bit tangled up. I want to sort that out quickly. That's what happens when you get a little whiting on there. It does tend to chase around. Okay, show us the end bit. Another hook's all right. Right, basically, I don't know if you can see that. But what it is, is we've got our size 5 -oh hook there on top and that's held in place so it can't slide up and down. And we've got a little size 1 -oh hook below it which we bait with a bit of lugworm or a bit of macro, something like that, a bit of squid, something that a whiting will take readily. And then it stays out there and then the whiting takes that lot in his mouth. This then sits right on his nose and then big fish comes along, takes the whiting and the big hook. It's just one of those techniques that's always worth putting a second rod out to do. Nine times out of ten, it may not do anything, but then you do get the odd time when Mr. Fish comes along and he takes the lot. That's what we're waiting for, isn't it, Roy? Yep. Here's my live bait rig. Right, this is a 4 0 hook above my little 1 0. I've got a bit of live lug on there, which is a black, and uh, a bit of squid on the end on the little 1 0 hook. So it's all on a pulley. Let's get it out. Got a little white in there. Hey, is that white in? Look at that. Yeah, it's a little white in, that's what we've been catching. Oh, it's a poor cod actually. It's a little poor cod. That's what we've been catching uh, uh, for our, our live bait. Um, and that's what we leave out there in the sea. So, yeah, get him on up and get him back in. I must say myself, that's not the best way to handle them, but he was strong, so make sure they go back safe. Do what you can to look after the fish, but to catch out on a one hole hook, it's absolutely amazing. But let's try again. <laughs>